Praise the Lord, loving greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's devotion is from Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27. We read here that, Then God said, Let's make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle. over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them the sovereign god that is the topic for today's devotion the creation of man in the image of god and likeness as the representative of god God said here let's make man in our own image we may wonder who is god talking to to animals or to angels no one else were there in creation but the answer is clearly seen in verse 27 we read here so god created man in his own image god himself talking to trinity If talking to animals saying let's make man like as man will be like animals if god was talking to angels man would have been like angels god almighty talked to trinity he is always in fellowship with the father the son and the holy spirit so god made man in his own image after talking to himself the trinity Adam the first man was created man was given dominion over all the earth and the creation he was the prince of this world in creation he created both male and female in creating the human being just as god has trinity in himself man who is created in god's image also has three parts in himself spirit soul and body the sovereign god has his own plans and purpose in creating man in his own image no other creation was made in god's image at the end of the sixth day of creation after creating man god said it was very good the wisdom and sovereignty of god is marvelous The Lord God Almighty knew that man was going to sin and Jesus was going to die. Then the question arises why did God create man if he is going to sin and we all suffer and die? The answer is our God is sovereign. He is in control. He is in authority and power. We have no answer and we have no authority to question God. of his sovereignty there is a state as believers we should have the faith in the sovereignty of god as he is perfect in his wisdom and knowledge things that we don't understand we must leave it to god in faith and submission to him our responsibility as human beings as god's creation is to submit to his authority and plan in reverence and obedience to his word May the good Lord help us in the coming days with this small devotion to live a life in reverence and obedience to Him, acknowledging His sovereignty in submission. Praise the Lord.